Terima kasih sudah setia dan dukung terus channel ini. Dukungan kalian sangatlah berarti bagi keberlangsungan channel ini ke depan. Bukan rahasia lagi bakat dan kemampuan Dimas Senopati sudah teruji baik kemampuan vokal ataupun bakat bermain gitarnya yang ciamik. Selain itu kemampuan public speaking dan bahasa Inggrisnya yang lumayan bagus juga sangat membantu dalam pengembangan karirnya di dunia maya, yaitu dengan bermain Ome TV, tak hayal konten videonya dibanjiri viewer baik dalam ataupun luar negeri. Dan untuk video kali ini Dimas Senopati membawakan lagu Stairway to Heaven diciptakan oleh band rock legendaris asal Inggris, Led Zeppelin. Lagu ini ditulis oleh gitaris Jimmy Page dan vokalis Robert Plant dan pertama kali dirilis pada tahun 1971 dalam album keempat mereka yang berjudul Led Zeppelin 4 Stairway to Heaven sering dianggap sebagai salah satu lagu rock terbaik sepanjang masa dan telah menjadi salah satu lagu paling terkenal dan ikonis dari Led Zeppelin. Dan bagaimana keseruan reaksi para reaktor luar negeri terhadap cover lagu Dimas Senopati ini? Silahkan tonton videonya sampai selesai, tapi jangan lupa untuk tetap tersenyum. Hey Dimas, let's get it! because come on come on we're talking about Dimash Senopati oh my god I was gonna say Dimash couldn't break again <laughs> my brain is not working um oh my goodness but oh I, I don't even know what I was saying oh yeah that I knew that I was gonna love the song but this this the, 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 oh. oh we love his voice so much Nice. on the wall She wants to be sure Cause you know sometimes words have too many In a tree by the road There's a songbird who sings Sometimes all love I thought My 
God I have seen Keeps us swung through the trees And the voices of those That, that softness that I've never heard. I love when he does that. And then he goes into his low. That's the Dimas I kind of know, right? But I love how it's like really subtle going down to that low voice. And I know he's going to get, but I love, I love this so much. It's a different side of him that I have not yet seen. Really, really awesome.
<laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh. First of all, it's not an easy song. As far I mean, it's a long song. And what is interesting about the song too with Led Zeppelin is that this song doesn't really have a hook, and it's become such an epic, legendary song. You know, famous song. It's crazy when you really think about that, right?、Um, so I feel like Led Zeppelin is one of those bands where I'm like, I used to actually not really like them to be honest.、Um, Because I just didn't get them, you know what I mean?、Um, but I love "Cashmere" as one of my favorite songs, and obviously, <laughs> they are super, super talented. I'm not taking anything away from that. But this song in particular, I feel like this has like not a hook, and it's it's become such a famous song. So that just shows you that anything is possible. As far as Dimas doing his rendition of the song with his fantastic, talented musicians. Amazing job, and I really like that because Dimas has also very distinct sound and voice, in my opinion. Where he does that that gravelly, growly sound a lot, but he didn't do it this time, and he could have done it, but he chose not to. And I really like that because he really kind of stayed within the, you know. The theme of the song and and the actual original, like the vibe of it, and he was, was when I when I watch him, you can always tell like when a singer is like really into something or not, and I feel like he really felt it, and he was really in that zone, just like serving the song versus like showing his vocal ability. There's always that fine line, right? Singers want to sing and singers want to show off. Obviously, nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't always work because then it loses. That the vibe of the song it loses the intensity, you know.、Um, even though you would think it could add to the intensity, but a lot of times it loses that because then it becomes more of a. It's all about the singer versus about the song, about the message, about the lyric, about the melody, you know.、Um, so I love that he respected that, you know, because this is an epic song, and so I think you either have to stay within it. The original, or you have to go far off and make it completely different with, you know, and 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 make a different version of it. So, really, really good. And I love that I've never heard this side of Dimas's voice. Very soft singing. There's so much control when singing soft. It takes way more control than singing in your in your regular.、Uh, um, Sometimes I just can't think of the words because I'm like I'm just still thinking about the music. <laughs> wow, wow, guys, bergelegar suara di telinga saya, guys. Suaranya di masa depan ini, wow, ini hebat sekali dia punya video di mana ah、uh, lain lagi versi gitaris dan ini memang iya akustik cover ya juga, guys. Dan bagi saya, wow, luar biasa. Dia menyanyikan lagu ini, oh. Suara dia benar-benar、uh, ngam-ngam di situ kan guys ya dan ya saya benar-benar menikmati lagu ini apalagi dia sudah mencapai satu tahap di mana、uh, suara tinggi itu benar-benar ada something is going on there but ya sedap didengarnya begitu kan guys dimula saja memang slow begitu kan tetapi ya bagus begitu. Wow, this was awesome. I absolutely loved everything about it. The greater sound to his voice at the end that was so freaking good, and I really like the aesthetics of this video that was so dope. The guys on the guitars they did a really good job as well. So yeah, overall a beautiful cover to a beautiful song by a beautiful young man. Absolutely loved it, loved it so much. So yeah. Thank、you